Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So a little different look today. I'm gonna to be hosting on my own. We brought my good friend, Ralph Bauer, uh, head teaching professional at Hamilton Golf Country Club. Yes, I am. Awesome, so we're here today to talk about a new app that you've developed within the last year called Tour Read App. Uh, this is a putting app that's kind of designed to help all levels of golfers. Um, I know you're a PJ Tour coach, so you're obviously out on tour using this. So kind of walk us through what we're gonna be going over today with this app. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, you know, we designed it for everybody. But I coached on the PGA Tour 15 years, so they were all my friends. So I thought, hey, you know what, let's get those guys using it first. And, uh, you know, I, I went to the first playoff event last year is where, where we started it. We had tremendous success right off the hop. Uh, you know, one of our poster trials, Tom Hoagie, uh, downloaded it that day. Uh, you know, he's gone on to win about five million bucks since then. I've had some crazy good success. Uh, JJ Spawn, the week before he won, he downloaded it. I saw him, you know, the next day at the Masters. Uh, he had to wait in line, his caddy gave me a big hug, then he gave me a big hug. You know, literally every week I look at the leaderboard and, and we got, you know, four or five guys, you know, in the top 10 who are, you know, getting better at reading greens. Hell you know, better. Mac, I know you've been using for for a bit. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things we can always get a little bit better at. If we're, if we're trying to lower our scores, literally green reading is the easiest way to do it. Yeah. You know, so uh, basically what happened is I gave a golf lesson to an engineer. You know, I coached for 15 years out there and I always kept my little secrets to myself. And then I kind of took some time off from coaching out there and I, I thought, you know what, I might as well kind of tell everybody what I come up with. So what we've developed is like, you know, the iPhone's got an internal clinometer, which is, which is like a level, a level, only a 360 level, right? Right. So what we do, we did all the physics behind it. So we set the, the, the uh, phone down on the ground you know, so if we got if we got a six footer here, we'll set the phone down on the ground. I'll just run through this one here real quick. We'll set the phone down on the ground. It'll give us the slope of the ground. So this is on a 1.7 left to righter and 0.7 uphill. So at, at six feet, it's gonna tell us exactly where to aim it. Right. Completely takes the guesswork out of you know reading greens. Uh, how to and it's a way to practice our green reading. So green reading is super important. Up till now, we didn't have a really effective way of practicing right. our green reading. And I think for most people, that's very beneficial. It doesn't matter how good your stroke is, how picturesque it is, <laughs> if you're not hitting your lines and actually starting the ball in the right line, yeah. it really doesn't matter. So I think that's really beneficial to have something that can help us with green reading itself. Because you can take care of a lot of things, but if you're not actually reading the green properly, you're not gonna make putts. So, it's definitely something that's probably the most important in yeah. terms of getting the ball in the yeah. hole. Yeah, you know, and, and it's funny, like, the studies I've done, well over 90% of the time, they can start the ball within one degree of their intended start line. So if you're one degree off, a 10-footer is still going to go in the hole. Right. However, the make percentage on the PGA Tour is only 42%. Right. So there's a, you know, there's a, there's a thing there that's, that's helping or stopping people from making more putts. And, it, and it's the green rate. It's the green rate. And if you think about it, so PJ Tour players from 10 feet are getting less than 50% of their green reads down, done properly. So the guys I've been using with on tour have gotten, you know, much better. Like last summer, uh, Mac Hughes, w before we released it, we had a few guys testing who were, who were, yeah, who were beta testing it for us. Uh, Mac Hughes, Kevin Chappell, Nick Taylor, uh, you know, and that was nice of them to do that for us but it helped them make some more pots too. Right. Right, so uh, yeah, no, I right. would have like, like I wasn't there. Uh, Xander's coach told me the first day he had it, he used it for uh, four and a half hours. Right. You know, just dialing in his left to right. You know, everybody's gonna struggle with, with one read or another, and it's just kind of helping them. Well, and I think with, the big thing is it gives you that um, kind of uh, affirmative that you are hitting the right spot. And yeah. It's, I think, trains your eye, obviously. It's a good thing. Yeah. I know a lot of guys using aim point and stuff. So yeah. it's a cool way that can kind of train your eye to read the greens properly. So when you're out on the golf course, you have a process that you can stick with and hit your lines. Yeah, 100%. And you know, it's, I can't tell you how many people would underread a putt, miss it, hit a good putt, they missed it, you know, and then they're blaming their stroke, they're second guessing right. their stroke, they're second guessing their putter, you know, they're second guessing their marriage, you know, they, they've got all kinds of stuff going on in their head. And the reality is they, they underread their putt. Yeah, exactly. I think it's so important to actually have a good line. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, why don't you hit this one here? Yeah. Right? So, uh, and then, then we'll kind of run through a few of the ways that we can kind of use the app to kind of, you know, like I said, to, to get better. Where generally would the where would you see guys using this? Would you see it in practice rounds, kind of pre-tournament on the putting green, just getting a feel for green reading itself? That's kind of 
the benefit of it, right? Yeah, for sure. Here's what I like about it. Everyone's going to use it a little differently. Okay. You know, uh, Bryson's team tested it this week. They loved it. They've got different ways, you know, and how they want to implement it, which is great. Bryson, as you know, is pretty yeah, technical, yeah, technical, right? And then, you know, I was working with Andrew Putnam. Who's Field a player. Total feel player. Yeah, kind he's of like, like yeah, He's yeah. in your mold, right? Absolutely. And he's just telling me what he likes to use it with, right? right? I've got other guys, Kevin Chapel. He's like, hey, I just like to use it because it's helping me set up my drills. For sure. You know what I mean? So I don't have to monkey around getting all my, uh, you know, alignment stuff, stuff set up. Yeah, I can just use the app. Yeah. It takes a long time. I'm not used to, right? So I'm going to put the phone down. Yep. So I'm going to put the phone down perpendicular from the, from the ball to the hole. Okay. You know, if I put it on an angle, it would think the hole's down here and the ball's up there. Got it. So we're going to set it down So that's right really here. important, obviously, to get yeah. it pretty square like that? Pretty square. Okay. I mean, setting something up square is pretty easy. So yeah. we're just going to set that up. You know, I'm going to give it a little tap here. It's... Uh, How far along does it... You said about yeah, three quarters? Yeah, that's a good question. So that one there, I did like two-thirds. Okay. But if we do... If we do like... If we're going to take two reads, which is going to give us a little bit better read, yeah. right? Uh, we're going to do like 60% and 80%. Okay. And okay. then I just hit this average button. So I had the last one down. Uh, I think it was like 2.9 or something like that or 3. Point, I forgot what it was. And then I just read it again, and it gives a read of 3.2. Cool. So just with two data points. And, you know, I get a lot of questions with double breakers. And actually, Chappie, when he was uh, beta testing for us last summer, he texted me. He's like, hey, what about double breakers? Like, hey, did you try the average feature? And then like 10 minutes later, he's like, Ralph is brilliant. Okay. Again, I've been using it as a method for me to learn how to read greens a little better. So yeah. I've been using it on the golf course, which I know isn't allowed in the PGA Tour. But for me, I love being able to go out there and when I'm out doing a practice round or just a fun round of golf, just to see if what I'm seeing is actually what's yeah. happening. So it's super easy to set up. You, you toss it down there, hit the button, and you're, you're off to the yeah. races. So obviously speed is going to make a difference. So greens vary in speed, which yep. is going to change break. So um, what's kind of your calculation or percentage for, for that? So You've that's got a little a, That's math. a great question. Yeah, we got some little math done on that. Yeah. But if, if you're just, you know, an average golfer going out, you know, two, three times a week, we, we kind of, if you kind of think about it like, uh, you know, the U.S. Open is going to be 12. Yeah. You know, regular PG Tour events going to be 10 and a half. 10 and a half, yeah. You know, club championships are probably going to be 10. Average days going to be 9. Right. If it's super rainy and greens are slow, it's going to be like an 8. Right. Right? If, however, because the app is so accurate, if you hit, a, we typically, you'll hit like a big breaking putt. Yeah. And if it breaks more than you think, you just toggle the green speed until you find out how much it Gotcha. Broke, okay, that and that's sense. just a super yeah, simple way to do sense. it. So you can literally do it with one putt. I did it uh, one putt at the uh, Players Championship this year, and I had some players say, well, "What's the green speed?" I was like, "It's 10.1, right. right?" And then the uh, superintendent came by. I don't know why they were testing me, but they were they're like, "Hey, what's what are the green speeds today?" 10.1 is pretty slow for the players, you know. Uh, and he they said, "What is it?" He said, "It's just a fraction over 10." There you go. So you know. Yeah, it's Anyways, pretty cool. So this is a. Uh, you know, it's telling us it's 3.2. The cool thing about it is it takes into account the up and downhill. Right. Right? So there's no other system in the world that's doing that or it's going give to give us an accurate uh, measurement. Now, one of the cool things, too, on this, this is a six-footer. It'll tell us on here what it's actually playing. Right? So, you know, in the old days, we would be playing with a beginner or, you know, especially a beginner, and it's uphill, and we'd say, oh, hit it a little harder. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. Right now we can say exactly how much more, like for an uphiller, how much more it's playing, and for a downhiller, how, you know, how, how much less it's playing. Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's a kind of cool way of doing it. So let's aim this one, you know, 3.2 inches outside left edge here. Okay. You know, kind of pretty normal pace for uh, to hit it 12 inches past the hole. And we're going to go ahead and hit that, you know, and it's dead center. Yeah. Um, I, I will pretty, say uh... I had a bunch of tour players who... Who would, who would do the exact same thing, they would read it, they'd put the app down, they'd say, oh, the app's wrong. They'd hit it where the app says, it goes right in the center, yeah. right? So they'd do that after about five or six times, then they'd quickly realize, hey, you know what? It's actually me that was wrong. Yeah, and that's what I love about it is, for me, it takes away the guesswork. Um, I love, I'm a spot putter. So for yeah. me, if I can pick something three and a half inches out, either a little blade of grass or something, that's what I'm visualizing at. And I think I can relate to a lot of people and that is, picking something to aim at is important. So by giving me that exact kind of three and a half inches outside the left, then I can give myself that little blade of grass and really go at it. Yeah, and then kind of a cool thing to do is just to step back, 
yeah. and say like, hey, would I have read that? Is that how, yeah. how And I, that's I where I've been using it. I've yeah. been really using it as beneficial, it's very beneficial for me to confirm what I'm reading. So not only will I use it after I putt, so I'll hit a putt if I miss and I'll see where did I have that? Why did I miss that? Yeah. And if I had a good read, then chances <laughs> are I hit a bad putt. So it, yeah. it can kind of, it takes away the guesswork, which is I think extremely important on putting. I hate people using excuses, oh, it was a terrible putt, terrible stroke, terrible roll. You don't know that. It could have just been a bad line and you just thought you had a good putt. Who knows? It's almost always a bad read. Yeah. Like if tour players are less than 50% from 10 feet, yeah. with all their preparation, which is a daunting amount of preparation to go through, right? And you know, think about getting better. I always look at the analogy like, you know, if you want to get a little better, you know, if you're a little stronger, that's gonna help. Okay, now you gotta wake up earlier, you gotta go to the gym, stay there longer, you gotta, you know, that means you gotta go to bed earlier. Yep. You know, you gotta do all those things. I mean, literally, or you can get a nap and get better at reading greens, and your handicap's gonna go way down. Like you said, right? I think it is idiot proof in the sense that it, uh, I'm a very feel based person that's not into numbers normally, but for me, I use it in the most simple, kind of way possible and it's really helped me just confirm things. Just yeah. get, frees me up and lets me hit a, a, a spot. Okay, so I've got this little coaching thing I wanna do here with you. Yeah. So I've got a six footer on this side. I'm gonna go into our settings I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hit hide tour read, okay. okay? So now I'm gonna pop this down. I don't normally do the average function on a short putt like this. Right. You know, the average feature is, is, is more when you try and dial in a 15 footer. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this down Tap it, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you can take a look at this, so it's 2.6% uh, percent from right to left, 0.5 downhill, Okay. right? And it doesn't tell us where to aim it. So now you have to guess, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Sure. So you're gonna guess, and then we'll tap this and they'll give us the answer. Cool, yeah, let's do it. So why don't I hit it first? See, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I miss, <laughs> so and then I'm gonna tell you what my read was. Okay, so fair enough. I've got my number in my head right now, based on what I think. Yeah, so what was your number? So I played that three and a half inches out because we came from that side. Okay. Three and a half inches outside right. Okay, so the actual number was six inches. Super common thing for people to do as a lefty on a right to left putt, left, so, you know, using your example, is for people to under read okay. for you a right to lefter and then pull it. Pull it. Right? And then in that scenario, you over pulled it. Yeah, I, I felt like I Right? That. Yeah. So. Um, I always look at it like, like, do we want to misread it and mishit it and hope those even out? No. No, it's probably like, you know, if you got a, a match the next day at the club, that'd be, I'd have a tough time going to sleep at night if that's your plan, 100%. right? So instead of that, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to read it properly, yeah. you know, and then not pull it. Yeah. So if you show me a person that's got a good stroke on a left to right or a right to lefter, I'll show you somebody that's got a, uh, who's a good green reader. Okay. And if you show me a good green reader, then we're not gonna, like if you know, if, if we do set this up properly, hit it, you know, we don't have to, um, you know, we don't have to manip manipulate it. Right. Which is, you know, uh, just not gonna work. And I think I am, I am very guilty of a right to left or being a lefty that I, I like to pull it onto my line instead of. Yeah, um, so, and you know, if you don't mind, I'll hit this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, you hit that So one. if I set this up for six inches, obviously it works for righties or lefties, right? and I feel like I'm gonna put a good stroke on, hit my putt, you know, it's gonna go in. Do you see how that went in kind of like the left center? Yeah. I feel like I didn't have enough pace on that. I did definitely not have enough pace on that. That was more of an eight inch yeah, yeah, yeah. break or sure. eight inch pass. You know, I feel like 12 inches, that's right in the middle. However, I do get to write down a birdie or a par on my, exactly. uh, on my scorecard. Exactly. You know, so that, that high two read function now, so that's kind of a way for us to wean us off the, off the app. Yeah, it's and like get a nice it's little training. 100%. You know. yeah. You know, um, there is a kind of another cool little feature on here we can talk about. Uh, I'm just gonna go into training mode, which is fun. And it just gives us random reads. Uh, I, I have fun with this on my IG account because, you know, tour players are no, literally no better at answering this question yeah, yeah. <laughs> than, than, you know, anybody else. So it just kind of gives us random, random lengths, random reads. And it's uh, kind of a fun way of, you know, practicing our greenery. I do have a lot of caddies who let's say they're going to Augusta, you know, before Augusta, they were, they were setting the, the green speed to like 13 and a half. Yeah. And they were playing this game like on the plane there, right? I'll set to 13 and a half and it'll give us some kind of random reads. There's a seven footer, you know, 3.1 left to right, 1.2 down. 
And you have to guess how many? Yeah, you have to guess. That's cool. And then, uh, you know, they're in tap on it in 15 inches. Almost everybody is gonna get that one at like seven. Right. Like it's crazy. It's not like they're gonna guess like 14, be off by an inch. Like tour players are off on that by like a half. You think, would you say, from your experience, do guys overread or underread putt on average? Would you say it's a, uh, does it matter, kind of depend on the, the break of the putt or would it, you see a tendency there? Yeah, 100%. Like, and, I, and I think, like, I, I feel most righties are pretty decent at right to lefters. Okay. You know, left to righters, not good at all. Right. Right. So, so most, most, uh, actually, I'll give you tour, the, the tour data. Most tour players are going to underread a left to righter. Okay. You know, by about forty-five percent. So, and so that's tour players. So that's, that's like, tour players. Imagine what the uh, the everyday, even fifteen handicap that's a club player. Yeah. If they're missing it that bad, that they're probably even worse. So. Yeah. You know, it's 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 such an easy way to get better at yeah. golf. Yeah, no, makes sense. Right. And then you know, if if you're in a strokes gain data, I'm a numbers guy, but if you're in a strokes gain data, if you make a six footer or an eight footer, how do you feel walking the next tee? Like how do you hit your driver the next hole? It's all confidence. It's all confidence, yeah. right? And, you know, making putts, I mean, you can hit a great drive, which is great, don't get me wrong, but that doesn't, you know, you still have to hit a great tee, or approach shot, right? So true, yeah. <laughs> Whereas if you make a good putt, you can write your score down, and you're off the next tee, and you're going to feel better about yourself. Yeah. So it's, you know, let me see again real quick about how this came up, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had this whole system that I only kept for my guys. You know what I mean? And, and the guys I worked with on tour averaged a 0.6 a day improvement in their putting using my systems, right? So, you know. It's pretty astonishing at that level. Pretty astonishing at that level. And, uh, you know, I was lucky I got to work with, you know, if, if a player had a bad week and decided to fire me, you know, I'd, I'd somebody would hear about it and I'd have a new client, you know, yeah, in yeah. the afternoon. So, you know, it, it was a great, I had a great run on, on tour 15 years. I'm kind of slowing back now. I'm just doing it like once, you know, once a month. but. Uh, you know, so I kept, kept my little secrets to myself. Uh, I gave a golf lesson to an engineer, and he's like, "Bro, we should turn this into a into a uh, uh, into an app." And I was like, "You know, it takes a lot of work. We need a software engineer. Yeah, yeah. I need another physics nerd." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm a physics nerd. I'm a, a software engineer. Let's do it, right?" So it was a lot of fun putting it together, and uh, you know, it was actually right here. So we got it together, got it on my phone. I had my perfect roller, perfect putter, uh, brought it out, you know, tested it. I hit 25 putts, 20, or you know, I rolled 25 putts, 24 of them went in. I was like looking around to see if like, Eureka! I was being punked or something or what was yeah, going yeah, on. Right. And then uh, the, the disappointing part, we had to wait like three, four months to get all our patents done after that. Yeah, yeah. Right, and I, I felt like I could not sleep and I was so excited to get this out there. It makes sense. So right. it's been I'd, fun. I'd say it's, uh, it's something that every single golfer out there, <laughs> doesn't matter what your skill level can really benefit from. Um, just tell me quickly how we go about getting it. So it's a subscription-based, obviously you download the app, um, subscription-based, um, monthly, yeah, yearly. Yeah, so it's, it's got a two-week free trial, Okay. right? We're super confident people are gonna like it. Yep. So it's got a two-week free trial. It's, uh, it's in the App Store. Uh, Apple products only right now. Sure. We're, we're working on Android, but you know, yep. uh, it's, it's uh, taking time. And uh, it's ten dollars US a month, cool. or a hundred dollars a year. Tour it up, perfect. So if you guys want to check that out, I would highly suggest it. I know it's helped me a ton. I'm not much of like a into gimmicks and stuff. I'm, I'm again, I'm such a feel player. So it's something that I think can benefit every skill level kind of, of player. Um, thanks again for having us out here today. Thanks, it's been brother. a blast. Hope to see you guys next time.